In the early 90s, the country music charts were ruled by superstars like Garth Brooks, Reba, and George Strait. Then a blonde roughneck from the oil fields in Oklahoma named Toby Keith showed up in Nashville. Soon, everybody was taking notice. In 1993, the golden era of country music was booming. With an influx of new artists on the Nashville country scene, Mercury Records had a unique idea to market their newly signed artists. Let's make one thing perfectly clear. <laughs> we, we are, are not, not a band. band. There were three brand new solo acts, John Brandon, Shania Twain, and Toby Keith. They decided to market three of us at once, um, which is really, uh, got a lot of doors open for us. Paired together for the triple play tour, the three label mates played live gigs together across the country. On stage, Toby watched his debut single, Should Have Been a Cowboy, shoot to number one. It was uh, truly a uh, butterfly nest opened when I stepped on the stage at the last five or six shows as it grew in uh, popularity. I'd never been to North Carolina in my life and uh, went on stage and people were singing it. It was just like, whoa. The tour was a success. Should Have Been a Cowboy went on to become the most played country song of the 1990s. One of Toby Keith's all-time favorite hits and his star factor was there from the beginning. Toby's, you know, he's a star now. We, we were at a restaurant, the last place we were in Wichita. He's going to get all embarrassed now. <laughs> and these girls came up to the table, and they were so excited. They were just like, oh, it's Toby Keith. I <laughs> but I was real proud of him. It was I great. Him he, was, he, was, he was great. I was, it was the newspaper <laughs> girls, and I owed for my subscription. I hadn't paid it.